Rose MJ Trophies, number 74, out of Roseville, California. Give it up for Kobe Cookman. Starting 21st in the Stratus Construction, Western Diversified Team AZ, Automotive 21AZ out of Tempe, Arizona, it's Stevie Sussex. Starting 20th in the AZ Heat Trucking, Clarkson's Engine, number 77 out of Peoria, Arizona, please welcome him, Dalton Gabbard. Starting 19th. Shop, Napa Auto Parts, Martin Senior Paints, number 12, out of Peoria, Arizona, it's Josh Pelkey. <laughs> Starting 18th, in the Coffin and Trout, Fine Jewelers, Go Motorsports, 32B, out of Gilbert, Arizona, it's the Bossford, Brian Hosford. Starting 17th, in the Fat Heads, Iowa, number 99, out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, he's your 2014 AMZO USAC National Sprint Car Series Champ, give it up for the Macho Man, Brady Bacon! Starting 16th, in the RSS Industries, MP Environmental, Pinsky Shocks, number 50, out of Buckeye, Arizona, it's Trojan Charles Davis Jr. Starting 15th in the PPG, Ian Kerr of Phoenix, number 16B, out of Noblesville, Indiana, it's BC, Brian Crossan! <laughs> Starting 13th in the Roy Moore Freight Line, Sand Engineering Component Repair, 7M, out of Mexico, California, Mike Spencer! Starting 13th in the Coffin and Trout, Fine Jewelers, Go Motorsports, 22B out of Canton, Illinois, it's the Bear, Chris Wyndham. Starting 12th in the Griffins, Propane, Indiana, Underground, 17 RW out of Coleman, Alabama, give it up for KT, Kevin Thomas Jr. Starting 11th in the Camel Bot Bros Storage Pit Boss Jacks MPD Racing 37 out of Yorba Linda, California is the 2014 USAC West Coast Series Champion Matt Mitchell. Starting 10th in the Huntington Beach Glass and Mirror Rambo Racing number 92 out of Anaheim, California is Jake Swanson. Starting ninth in the MP Environmental Spike Chassis Performance Plus, Sean Deskins Racing 20S out of Avon, Indiana, is John Stambro. Starting eighth in the MP in the Apache Escapes Advanced Engine Components, 02 out of Peoria, Arizona, give up the Hill American, Matt Rossi. Starting 7th in the MP Environmental Spike Chassis Performance Plus, Sean Deskins Racing, number 20 out of Waddell, Arizona, is Sean Deskins. Starting 6th in the Blakesley's Auto, Cliff and Services, Deaton's Waterfront, number 12X out of Rockland, California, it's the Madman, Robert Ballou. Starting 5th in the Mandarin Ranch, Core Power Metal Works, number 56, out of Hollister, California. He's in the first two nights trying to make it 3 here tonight. Give it up for Ryan Bernal. <laughs> Starting 4th in the Lily Constructions, Green Tech Lubricants, number 30, out of Greenfield, Indiana, C.J. Leary. Starting third on the Kodiak Products, Bills Auto Body, Sherman Race Car, 77M. He's your 2014 USAC South High Series Split Car Champion from Phoenix, Arizona, is our Jay Johnson. The front row of the next three lap main event. On the outside in the Hockett Racing Factory Cane Shocks, Lucas Oil, Butler Bill, 75 out of Tempe, Arizona. Give a good home crowd welcome to Casey Schumann. And on the pole for the next main event in the Beaver Stripes, Ren ST out of Snowish, Washington, is Gary Taylor. Fans, there is your field for the next 30 lap main event of USAC 
Southwest Series, Fit Car Drivers, get ready to go 30 laps. Can Ryan Bernal make it three in a row here in the Western World Championships with Brian Clausen? Do what he did last year and double it down. Won the 360 in the midget portion last year. Here tonight, climbing behind the wheel of the PPG E and Killer Phoenix. Mike Martin Racing 16B. And here at this racetrack, he's only lost one 360 race in a Mike Martin owned car. So he's going to try to do it from the 15th starting spot. Here's your heart.
Thomas. Sean Deskin's up and over for the second time here tonight, bringing out the red flag. Final 19 laps. Now Rossi, RJ Johnson, Robert, all your top three. John Stanley, fourth, Martin Lou, or Kevin Thomas, fourth, Martin Lou is in fifth. Sixth is Brian Cross and Doug Cat out BC. They're the Mike Parker Racing entry.
shooters out here, Old Western style. KT looking at us, he's saying howdy pilgrim. There's a work their way for free and fair for green flag at the cone. Four laps. Let's go tonight. Speedway, and we've got Matt Rossi, who is the winner tonight of the Western World Championship here at Canyon Speedway. Matt, all I can say is uh, it was, first of all, a fun race to watch, but uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Yeah, the track was pretty treacherous there up against the fence, and uh, I don't know, it was the biggest race of my life, and first tr race I've ever won at this racetrack, actually. Raced there my whole life. <laughs> I was going to say, just 25 miles up the road, and this I guess you call this your home track, but it looked like at the first part of that race you were just kind of playing it cool and letting them guys up front kind of race for it, and then when you had the opportunity, why, well, man, you ready to run on them down low and went right by them. Yeah, I mean, I was running wide open as, from the drop of the green flag. I just saw, I saw Brunel and Johnson get together, and that was my only chance I was probably going to get to pass them both, so I went for it. I was going to say, I, I wouldn't call it a one-lane track, but it looked like passing was a premium out there, so you better get it when you could. But, boy, once you got in the lead, I mean, every yellow flag when there was a restart, I mean, boy, you would open it up to a straightaway lead with, in no time at all. Yeah, I mean, you have no idea how close they are behind you, so every mistake I made, I was pretty scared. I have to ask you this, uh, seeing what the track was tonight, was this – a common setup that you would use on this car the way you had to set up tonight or did you adjust it a little bit different for what the track conditions were uh, i mean you never know uh the last couple months we've been really quick i haven't really changed anything so i don't really know how to explain it uh the same setup i use most of the time we run here okay also one other thing I i'm kind of making this long but down there in one and two boy that looked like it was a different thing through one and two because you guys were actually running up a little ledge above a ledge there on the what we normally would call a cushion yeah the cushion just uh it was too low early on so we all just kind of made our own groove above it just putting four in the fluff 
<laughs> well, congratulations, Matt, on a great run. Like I say, most of my first Western World. Really enjoyed coming out the Canyon Speedway. And uh, like I say, very enjoyable race to watch. And congratulations. All right, thank you.
got the winner of the Western World Midget part here, Darren Hagen. Darren, boy, that was a really fun race. A lot of patience, really different track out there. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, to drive for the Shane Mill and Levi Jones, seven-time champion, I think Ray Charles could have drove that thing tonight. <laughs> uh, the car is really good. Can't think great clips and henchman race uniforms, bell helmets, fathead sunglasses, shell shock, everybody that's behind us and supports us week after week to be out here. The fans were sticking it out. Um, man, what a race. It was unbelievable. What an unusual line. It looked like you were running there a couple of times. I mean, you'd be up around the top, and then all of a sudden I'd see you coming off the bottom, and I'm thinking, how do you do that? You'd look like you were cutting across the track sometimes right in front of second or two guys beside each other. I mean, that just had to be a ball. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, Levi Jones is on the back stretch hanging over the fence with the light so I could switch lanes when we have to and telling me when to get my elbows up. So um, it's really a testimony to how good these guys are. Um, I think anybody can get in these cars and run up front, and um, I've just been really blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ for the opportunity. Just a tremendous race out here for this Western world. I mean, you get the best of the West, the best of the East. I mean, it's really everybody coming together. It's kind of like a mini chili bowl, but uh, boy, congratulations on a great great run there. Yeah, thanks. We uh, lost it last year by a foot coming to the line, so... Well, you just about did that this year with it. I wasn't going to lose it by a foot this year. We would have fenced it and turned over before that happened. But uh, now hats off to this whole team. Without these guys, I wouldn't be here. So uh, just really blessed to have the opportunity. And uh, it's all about the people you surround yourself with. So we got a good group here. You know what my saying is, it takes a village. Right. <laughs> it takes a village to keep a racer going. Congratulations, bud. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it.